Hi, uh, how's it going today? And we're just looking at a little bit of bearings, mass watch, and how the heck do we do all this using all these tools? So before we actually do anything, I'm just going to go through the tools one by one, just as a little refresher recap and kind of help out. So uh, first tool, all your tools are over here. First tool we have is the ruler. So ruler, if you look right here, see how it points all four ways, the little mouse, that is kind of the universal standard sign for, hey, we can move this around wherever we want. Second thing we can do with our ruler is we have this here. So this helps us if we actually want to just measure from our starting point to say a point over here. So I can tell that, hey, that's 1.5 centimeters. I can draw a line and be like, okay, I know that line is 1.5 centimeters. That's great. Uh, over here on the far right side where our tools are, there's an undo button. But we can just hit it right there and it takes off our line. So. What else we have? We have a little extend thing over here. I'm just gonna put this back to zero. So this helps us if we wanna just draw a really big line. Okay, so the longer line we draw, the longer we get. Uh, one thing to note out is that you can actually erase line. You can go further past it too, so you don't actually have to have it extended. You can keep drawing the line past, okay? So, uh, what else about the ruler? Last thing is this, one over here we can use to drag it and move it up and down okay so if you have to line up two dots so say if we wanted to connect point a and b just to draw a line between them we could keep moving it around like so so sometimes i find that it's actually easier to shrink it down and then just slowly match it up so it'll take a little bit of wiggling back and forth on a computer so that's about it uh next thing we're going to look at is the compass so compass here, we can move it around just like before. Uh, <clears throat> in terms of the compass, I'm going to put over on top of the X on A. So that's the little compass pivot point, right? So normally you'd have the pair of compasses. Here is just one part that we can move. Uh, the blue part, as always, is how we draw, right? That's our pencil. This arrow allows us just to move the arc around so that this arrow we can, and then the other arrow we can shrink and move how big it is. So when we, it says draw an arc that's three centimeters, we can find three centimeters like that, and then just trace our arc. And like I said, if you just want to move your arc around, because you don't want to draw the full arc, then you can move it around over here and then say make your other little arc point by pressing on the pencil there. So that's about all with compasses. Just going to get rid of these marks again. And here moving on to the protractor. So this one I'll actually start using for this bearings question. So here, keep in mind, we always want to draw north lines from our points, right? So what's our north line? Well, that's simply 90, right? So we can mark out 90. And then uh, there's a variety of ways to do these. I typically like just doing the old-fashioned way of grabbing the pencil. That was the last thing I was going to show you. And you can just bring it here, make an X, right, and then connect it using a ruler. Uh, there are ways that you can do it just with uh, Miss Math Watch sometimes, but it's just easier to just do the pencil and then connect it with the ruler. Uh, for those of you that might be thinking, well, I don't, maybe I don't want it just flat. After you've extended, you get this little other yellow ball, and then you can change the degree on it, okay? So you can move it, so say if you wanted to measure something that was like that, and then you could measure over to your line, whatever it may be, and that would give you the degrees in between. So, uh, I'm just going to continue on with this problem, though. So, <clears throat> I'm going to get rid of the protractor for a sec, pull up my ruler, drag it over, line it up with A, and then keep in mind, I want to line up that X as best as I can, because that's going to be my north line. Now. While I have it at A, I'm going to draw a line over to B, okay? Because we usually have it bearings connected like that in questions. When you're given them like this, they uh, you're not always going to be given them. And then I'm going to draw my other north line. And kind of what's great about Math Watch is that you can kind of see that that is straight up. Uh, normally, we'd want to just kind of measure that. But there, we have our problem set up. So measure... Question A says, measure the bearing of B from A. So 
if you remember, I always say just switch it around because it'll make more sense. So swap around B and A, so it'll be A, and then instead of from, we're going to say to, so we're going A to B. So we're starting at A, and we're going to B. So remember, we measure from north, and we're going to measure from our north line to the line we drew in between A and B. So it's this little angle, so we know it's an acute angle. It'll be less than 90. It looks like less than 45. I'm going to say it's around 26. 5 to 35, right? So at this point, to actually check, I'm going to drag my blue over there, okay? And then I'll draw my yellow over here to my north line, okay? So it looks like it's probably 30 degrees, yeah. So right here, it's 30 degrees, but because it's a bearings problem, any it has to be three digit, right? So 030. Zero, the reason why is because uh, in real life, air traffic controllers and stuff like that, uh, they just say three numbers. They don't say degrees, so they're always expecting three numbers. So they'll be zero, three, zero. So they know that it's that angle of inclination or altitude. <clears throat> uh, next one, A from B. Well, we know that we're trying to figure out from the north line at B down to this line here. Well, we know that this angle in between the north and the line that we drew in between A and B is 30 degrees because they're uh, corresponding angles, okay? So if that's 30 degrees and a straight line is 180, we just have 30 plus 180, so we get 210 degrees, okay? Hit the answer, full marks, four out of four, drawn, and they're answered in three digits, okay? So.